So welcome back to my channel and I want to take a look at decal workflows in Mori and how we can treat it as a material. So let's dive into it now. Okay, so here today I want to take a look at the decal layer on this guy. So we can see here we have some uh, different material response and how it's set up. And um, yeah, let's take a look here. And um, yeah, here we go. So it's quite easy actually. Um, the decal is just blended here in the material. So let's go to flat shaded. Let's look at the result, how it looks here on this node. And let's actually turn off the lights at the moment like this this guy so yeah we have a, a layer here with the decal sitting on top so if I enable it you see here and it also this material I treated so I have the face and edge and the roughness and the bump so this is kind of like a simulator name material and the actual material is set up down here if I go it's here so what I did, I just painted materials on a transparent layer on a paint node. Yeah, so this is how it looks. I have a mask here that chips away some of uh, like scratches. And, and this remove decal paint node is just removing it down to the underlying material. And in the actual material up here where I blend it, I have another set of a mask so if I go back there and take a look here quickly I have this metal mask that is revealing the down to the metal so looking at that this mask I invert it and I ship away on top of the decal like so so yeah so the paint mask in the material itself just ships away to the underlying material so this one is an overall and whatever I do in the material itself is just gonna go to the next level so to speak so let's take a look here now again uh, going back dissecting so it's very simple I uh, have this and my outputs is here so this is the diffuse color this is the face and edge color and that's the IOR or how reflective it is the roughness and the bump so here I just take I apply a luminosity to make it black and white or it doesn't really need to do that and then I level it down so I have it completely black and then I level it or I actually did it here so this is the one Level it down and then I raise the raise it to whatever uh, so I get a solid color by doing this essentially uh, so that's a, a way to do it so if I demonstrate the city it's gonna make it uh, into it's gonna take away all the colors and if you then apply a level and take the well, let's see double click on it the white point to zero it's gonna make it black and then to raise it to another level I just apply another level and say okay make this yeah so that's a way to make it into a solid color so I use this one on my face and edge so here we have the face color the edge color so this is how reflective it is and here's the roughness so I set it to a, uh, a roughness value and I blend it in here and actually let's see I think yeah I'm not sure exactly why I did that I yeah I think I just uh, had a, another mask there to ship away some and uh, this one Okay, so I added some extra breakup here or introduced some additional uh, interest of the, the map there. And to be fair, I think I have to actually 
for this to really work I have to do that let's see multiply now it's gonna react properly yeah so now it's gonna respect the, the transparency there as well so I just added this um, axis projection to uh, give it some extra touch of uh, complexity in the color there okay so that's going out to diffuse color and I do that by using a radio node. So if I hit right click and go to MISC toggle radio nodes, I have radio nodes going to all the materials. That's why there is a lot of stuff going through here. So they are hidden. So I share it. So this is a way to add uh, a material on top. So let's let's go back here and MISC toggle radio nodes and th this is a extension pack uh, feature the radio nodes there is another way to do this as well you can use a radio transmitter but uh, if I set up something that I know I just gonna use as a material I, uh, I tend to set it up without using a transmitter I just share it into a location so I just add stuff in between of the this out node there so yeah that's uh, my setup for uh, the decal layer and uh, let's take a look here again in lights let's enable the light and go to my shader and this um, HDR you can download it on my blog meshman.com it's from uh, my studio where in my London studio and now I'm in Windsor so I'm gonna make another HDR from the Windsor Studio. Okay, so here we have it, uh, the decal layer. Let's take a look, we can see it there. It has some nice different IOR and uh, roughness when we look at it from the side here. Thanks for hanging out with me here today. And as usual, if you wanna support my channel, consider subscribing and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. And Next time I'm gonna take a look at a dirt material and uh, the dirt mask of this asset.